using a straight edge and a compass to construct parallel lines. Let's begin by drawing a segment. We're going to label that segment A, B. Now we're going to draw a segment that intersects segment AB. And I'm going to label that point of intersection C. Now we need to put a point, you know, I'm going to extend that line a little bit longer, or segment a little bit longer up here, so we have room to work. We're going to label a point on this transversal. Any place you want to put it, but I'm going to put it up there kind of high so we have room to work. And we're going to label that point D. It's going right up the alphabet, aren't I? Now, if we copy this angle, B, C, D, up to this point, where D is the vertex now, we should have parallel lines because of corresponding angles being congruent. So let's try that. Do you remember how we copied an angle? We go to our compass now and we set the compass point, the vertex of our angle that we wish to copy, and we draw an arc that intersects both sides. I'm going to label those points of intersection E and F. That'll come in handy in a minute. Now, using that same compass setting that we just used to make that arc, we're going to move on up to point D and make an arc that will intersect the side we don't have and which intersects our transversal. We're going to label the point where that arc intersects the transversal. Where am I at? F? Nope, we've got an F, so we're going to go point G. Now, to put the to make this second side of our angle, we need to know the measure of the, of the distance or the chord from E to F. And we can measure that using our compass by putting the compass point on E and putting the pencil point on F. Now we're going to take that compass with that setting and move up to point G. Put your compass point on G and make an arc which crosses the arc we made through G. Now we take our pencil and label that point of intersection of those two arcs. Let's go to H. And now with our straight edge, we can draw a segment from D through H. And that will give us parallel lines or parallel segments because we have a transversal and we have corresponding angles congruent.